What up, YouTube? It's me, it's me, it's your favourite state. How you doing? It is Wednesday, uh, the 31st, actually. I know what the date is. It's the last day of, um, of January. Yeah. Um, I've sorted a sale today. It's that, that time. It, it's come around again. So I've hit a 30% sale today so I'm getting a few sales today but um yeah it started off towards the end of the month um it, I th I'd have to look past but I think it is my um my best ever month that I've had on eBay so I think it's so much like the point unless anybody turns up um but yeah uh went out yesterday went to Dudley um normally Dudley's all right I'll, I'll be honest, save you stick around. It's bloody awful, this hall is. Um, it's not the best. It is bloody rubbish. So I'm pre warning you now. Well, I've got a delivery coming. No way. We'll see. Um, yeah, just awful. Going out and about in Dudley. It, give me a second. Sorry about that. I can't see the driver. It's an Amazon driver, so I can see all Amazon packages in his front window. But he hasn't come, he's moving there. Um, yeah, I mean, the drivers around here, there'll be times, you know, don't know, I'll get, you know, I'm, I'm out every day. But, you know, there's times where the majority of my day is spent here. And you'll get like Amazon drivers or delivery drivers, and there's a note saying, uh, now mum was in. Like at a certain time, I was in. How did you not knock? Look, some, I don't think some of them bother even knocking the door. They just throw it. Like you find stuff behind the bins and stuff. Anyway, so yeah, Dudley was crap. Um, normally Dudley's an alright. There's at least one shop in Dudley um, that has some alright stuff. Uh, the St Mary's, but yeah, it was dead. Um, so it was more going out, getting cheap stuff. Um... Uh, so I've um, I've got one bit that's all right. Who's that? Who's that? I'll just do that. So many, so many cats. Don't don't even know if there has. Someone. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it was crap. I'll I'll go through it all. I've got one. Um. A couple of items at fifty quid. Uh. One of them. Something try, trying something new, but we'll go through the crap and I'll just show you how crap it was. Um, so what did I get? I got a Royal Vale milk jug. So these are these are me just having punts, there's nothing in the charity shop, I'm just having a punt. So this cost me 50p. So it's a Royal Vale milk jug. Uh, looking it up, what we got 50p seven, seven quid on that one. Um, I have sold this before. This is um, Prink Nash Abbey. Prink Nash Abbey. Don't know how you pronounce it. Prink Nash Abbey, a little half point tankard. Um, tenner on that one. Actually, they didn't do it. 50p and like two quid for the tankard. Seven and, t seven and ten. That ain't bad. Uh, Alfred Meakin. Uh, what did I put on this? A pound eight. So again, not bad. These all these might go to someone's collection or whatever. You, you never know. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you remember I used to do. I used to have teapot corner. So um, when I first started, I used to sell a lot of teapots. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I just used to pick them up. I used to like the look of Sadler teapots. I don't really see them anymore. Um, but saw this Sadler. I didn't know it was Sadler at first. So I looked underneath, it's got Saddler England and then imprinted around. Um, but it was the brown, the brown lid. I thought it might be a little bit more vintage than it is. No, not really any money in there. Actually, they've taped the lid on this. And I haven't been able, I haven't, well, I've not been able, I haven't had a look inside. That's all right. Oh, that's all right. Uh, but yeah. Not sure if there was like a name or a date or whatever for these brown lidded ones. 
but I've just searched strawberry teapot. They weren't going for much, so I just went through all the Sadler teapots to see if I could see anything else with this brown lidded design with fruit on the side. Again, the price didn't really change. So this cost me two quid a tenner. Um, but I'll put a little bit more postage on that. I'll probably put six pound postage on that. Then I have a including the including the thing that it's in. So I have a goblet of um, of goodies, um, including the glass, which I'll show you after. So what we got? Again, this is shite. I'm just letting you know. So what was this? This was an old Foley. James Kent Old Foley Eastern Glory um, boot. Have I made up the product? No, that's seven. So I've one pound, seven quid on that one. I'm going to shoot for. Uh, yeah, I've picked up a bunch of toys uh, in the Kent. If you've ever been, no, not Kent Research, in British Art Foundation, they'll sometimes have a little bags of toys, and I thought, sorry. So this. I picked up this one because I've sold bundles of these. I well, think it was summer. There's so many pe little pieces of crap. Um, Lace used to love them when she was little. She needed to make up and stuff now. But she was all into the, these little collectible toys, but uh, they're just little toys. I'm not going to take them out. They'll go everywhere. But they're Zomblitz. No one in them. It was one pound fifty. Uh, a fiver, and that's me looking that up. It probably selling for less than a couple of quid. So I'm adding three quid on the price that I paid for it to see if I can get a little bit of profit. So I'll go for a fiver, see what happens. There's nothing in there. And I'll put you in there. Um, these three figures came in a bundle. So I think it was like £2.50. So it's 83p per bundle. This is a standard Superman, Batman versus Superman figure. I've had these before, they're not really worth that much. Um, I was more thinking about the other two figures. Yeah, 83p, six quid. Uh, we've got a uh, Captain America, it's now disposable limbs. Is it disposable? Disposable? Oh, I freaking know. I don't know. I was pretty. You know what I mean? I wasn't clever. Anyway. Um, so Captain America 2015 Hasbro figure, again 83p, 4 quid, so that means it wasn't worth anything. And then this one is a Power Rangers figure, I remember watching Power Rangers back in the day. Um, I don't even remember a couple of bad guys off it, but I don't remember this guy. He might not even be a bad guy. But it's um, Power Rangers Ripper Rat, Ripper Rat figure, um, 7 quid on that one, so yeah. As I said, not that much in them. Um, again, this was a punt. Uh, a little spoon. So, I don't know. Someone's parking outside. I don't know why I'd pick this. It was only a pound. Um, it's just a spoon. It says Malaysia on the spoon. Um, I can't pronounce the word when I've put it in images. Um... Yeah, I can't pronounce the word, so what? what's... Shall I spell it out to you? Some dodgy cars around here. Where is it? Have I not even written it down? Is that never shamed or was? Oh, there we go. Collies on E. Quali... Oh, the... Oh, I forget. C-L-O-I. Shut this down. C-L-O-I. S-O... N N E spoon with Malaysia written on it. Again, no money in it. Cost me a pound. I'll go for four quid. Um, and then I bought this little paper weight. If you've been watching over the past few years, look, it's kind of a coral floral pattern. More coral. I've searched coral. So that again cost me a band. Um, a tenner. I'll go for on that one. So, uh, oh yeah, and then the last one, which is what all those little bits were in. Uh, Planet Hollywood, Las Vegas, Goblet Frosted Glass thing. Um, where are we at?
Give me a sec. I'm over at this down. There we go. Three quid, six quid. So it was less than what a, it's worth less than what I paid for it. So yeah, as I said, crap. Just crap. So oh yeah, bought some gloves as well. Bought these. I recognise these because of um uh they're a brand of boxing glove actually. But uh yeah. These aren't boxing gloves, I think they're white gloves. Not the grip. No, because oh, it's all these weights. So yeah, they've got the grip. But some they're not definitely not boxing. The ones that I saw of these have got padding. Makes my fingers look small. Uh I've got padding. Uh, but what was these? These were four quid. Oh, not worth anything. <laughs> I've put seven down, so again, something that's um, probably selling for less, or four, four, for four quid or less. So yeah, uh, seven quid, another fail. So it's just it's just a day of fails. I just started going out, picking up whatever I could. Um, then we've got some clothing. The clothing ain't that bad. Uh, a phase eight viscose short sleeve kind of bolero cardi but it's hook and eye um four quid twenty quid on that one Oops. uh we've got a orvis on it uh, this cup uh, i've done this a few times now picking up orvis um ladies shirts they're not really worth that much um i think this is cotton can i put the button in there we go Give me a sec. So I've left the TV on, so you can hear something in the background. What I do is I, 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 I leave the news on sometimes during the day so I can just randomly walk past and yell, you lying bastards, and then carry on with my life. I've got a delivery, give me a second. Sorry about that, it wasn't for me. Goddamn drivers, man. And that stuff. That's the thing, my wife, the amount of stuff that's being delivered. Like, she has stuff that's delivered every week. Well, from Amazon. So, we're just gonna shop. Well, so I don't have, have this thing. Is that for me? Is that for me? Is that for me? Get in the shop. All this long sleeve shirt, 20 quid. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I can't remember what I was saying before. Yeah, uh, twenty quid on that one. Uh, these, I think these will stick around for a bit. Some Gant jeans, Gant. Um, some Gant jeans. Uh, there's no real name on there apart from regular, Gant regular. I don't know. I said Gant regular, but I'd say it's a pretty popular name that people have just put down for any kind of jeans. So, um, yeah, the price was around 35 quid. So I'll shoot for 35, we'll see what happens. I can reduce it. Yeah, £4.50 for 35 quid on them. Uh, and then the best two pieces of clothing were this um, kind of gold brown Hobbs jacket. I've checked it. I actually, I learnt yesterday after what happened with that wool jacket last week. Um, there was a wool coat which I thought might have been worth something that's from Austria um, in a shop same kind of texture as that Hobbs jacket had a look it was nowhere near as bad as the Hobbs jacket but it did have quite a few of the moth bites all over it so I did see it um, this one again <laughs> this Ben Hoffman again this, um, I don't think you're going to get moth bites on this one but it's wool blend this one is okay it smells um again what we're going for so gold brown wool blend jacket 745 i'll go for 35 quid on that one um i did see another one that went for 35 the exact jacket and then the last bit of clothing i'm a bit gutted on this picked it up because it um i don't know i picked i picked up quite a few bits where the the brand name's not very popular and then you look it up and the, the, the you know, it sells for all right. I think I've Britain 
I've had a Britain July. And there was some Scottish brand as well, but this was Irish. I've never seen before. Uh, also, I picked it up because it said Merino wool. It was five ninety nine. Aaron Crafts. It's probably people not screaming at the screen, but coming. What a dickhead! Aaron Crafts. Of course, it's worth some money. It's Aaron Crafts. Well, I don't know. Um, so yeah, five ninety nine. Uh, it's kind of a hoodie card again. The only gutting thing on it is some twat has cut off the um, the size label on it. So I'm going to have to, you know, give it a measure. Maybe see if I can find um, an Aaron Crafts um, size guide. And what I normally do, um, if I can find the size guide, I'll just add the size guide to my images. And then say, according to this size guide, uh, this would be a size Blah blah blah, but we'll see. But I'm gutted with that because I, I, if I if I notice there isn't a size label in there, I won't pick it up. I won't even bother. I just can't be bothered with the hassle. Um, look, I had I had a point where um, which I don't really do it anymore unless the size is are completely off. But I had a wholesale um, order of nuddy jeans during COVID, and the measurements were. All out of the place. None of the measurements matched the labels that I had. So, um, yeah. So I ended up measuring stuff. But then people like... Because I'll put my own measurements in there and say the label says this. But these are the actual measurements. And I'll put the actual measurements in the title. The amount of messages that you get off people going, Why have you put this as the measurements if the label says this? And then just not being out. Like, I remember this one person. Don't... And tell it to cry. If a crazy, you can tell people are crazy if they're sending you like freaking paragraph messages. I've been dealing with one of them in it with some shoes um, that they reckon they haven't received. But they keep sending me like pages and pages of messages and like, oh, some people. Um, what's my point? But yeah, some crazy person was challenging me on the, what were their words? They were like. How can I trust your measurements? The only measurements I can trust are what the label says. And I'm like, okay, well, I can go by the label if you really want me to. The waist says waist 40, leg 32, but the actual measurements are waist 34, leg 28. So what do you want me to do? Anyway, I'm chattering. Um, But yeah, that was that was my haul. Um, and then... I've got one more bit which I haven't got with me because what I've done is I've took photos of them and I've packed them up because they're just going to be a nightmare. So I thought I'd just get it done now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to Stay in the Past. Stay in the Past. He's going to show you this amazing item. What up, YouTube? How are you doing? I'm not sure how Future Stee has described me, whether he's described me as past Stee or the better looking Stee. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the um, bundle uh, that I picked up. Obviously, I wasn't going to show you with the rest of it because I've literally just unpacked it all. And then I'm literally going to take photos of it and then I'm going to shove it all back in this packaging and put it put it in its own little box, I think. Um, yeah, so this is what I picked up. I think it's about 21 pieces in total. Or now, should we count them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. 22 pieces. So it was 22 pieces. It was 15 quid. Um, she wanted to get rid uh, I've tried to do a little, little bit of a look. Um, that that bit is Wedgwood, so you've got um, five pieces there that are Wedgwood. Um, Katani Crane, I think, and then these haven't got a name. So the original price, as you can see, was three quid for each piece. Um, oh, what was that now? Rose. Ice, ice rose, I think that was. So there's two bits of ice rose. Um, but looking at it, there's nothing... It's too much of a pain in the arse to list individually. 
So I'm just going to do it as one big bundle and um, shoot for 50 quid. The the most, the one that I saw that could have got probably north of 15 quid was this rabbit, uh, which was a Pembroke rabbit, just a little trinket case. Um, but it went abroad and I think it went for about 18 quid. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to bundle it all up. It cost me 15 in total. So I'm going to go for 50. There are a few bits that have got chips, which I'll have to show. That one's got a true, come on. Freaking camera. I swear to God. This camera used to, it used to annoyingly focus. And now it's taking me to, oh, don't know. That one's got a chip, trust me. Um, and there's, I think there's one or two. I don't know if this bell, it's got like a crack on it. As you can see around there. But I'm going to shoot for 50. Um, I think I saw of this certain one, which is most of it, which is um, Ainsley Wild Tudor. I think it was a 12 piece had gone for 28 quid on auction. So with the other, I had 10 pieces. I think I've got 10 pieces of Ainsley Wild Tudor. Um, a few other bits of Ainsley, five bits of Wedgwood. We've got one bit of coal port there. Um, so I'm going to shoot for 50 on auction. It cost me 15. I'm going to shoot for 50. So back to you, future Steve. And we're back. We're back in the present day. Um, Steve in the past isn't a nice person. You know, I feel like I evolve all the time. And Steve in the past, like, he's still stuck in, like, the... You know. Still stuck in the past. You know, he doesn't believe in certain things. Anyway. Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, 50, I'm going to go for 50 quid on that, on that haul. Um... I don't know how um, much Steve in the past um, explained, but the lady just wanted rid. She had like half, um, half a cabinet's worth of stuff, and she said she wanted rid of it because she needed the cabinet. So she just wanted to get rid. The, the, I think there was a couple of pieces. Again, I don't know what Steve in the past has showed you. Sometimes Steve in the past can be an arsehole and completely forget what he's meant to show you. So. Um, yeah, but there were a few, a couple of chips. Uh, but I've took all the photos and I've wrapped them up all individually and I've put it in a box and I'm just going to put it in the loft. And if anybody freaking... Watch, it's going to be on it. There's going to be loads of messages about, can you measure me this? Can you measure me that? Can I have a close-up of this? No. No, you can't, you awkward bastard. You can't. Look at the photos. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. That's not the best all. It's got a few bits to fill some stuff you know what i mean but yeah they're not all gonna be fantastic are they but i'll go um i've got three more lots of sourcing left and then half terms here and i'll have the week off for half term um when the kids are off i'll still be listing but i'll have the week off of sourcing and then um, get on top of my i've got mostly backlog of clothing i don't get through the clothing in the week i'll get some um photographed but not that many of the clothing so it's all i'll have a week of clothing to get through but anyway i'm jabbering on i promise you before this i do not take any like drugs and then just go a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. i don't just, anyway peace out stay safe stay beautiful um and i'll see you in my next video